hello there today i'm going to add multiple strokes to a single vector object or text using affinity designer version 2. if this is your first time here please take time to explore the whole playlist with over 100 tutorials for affinity products all right so here we are in the program i got my text here by default in the color section we can see the fill color that's the circle we can change that we're using sliders and there's also another not a full circle but a ring that's the color for the outline so we can also change that to apply a simple stroke we can control this from the stroke panel make it thicker and that's a general way how we apply a single stroke in designer we can also head to the appearance panel over here when I can see my stroke and fill in one place. If you cannot see appearance panel in your program, you can head to window and open appearance from here. And as you can see, I should be able to add another stroke, another fill to this object. Unfortunately, now we got editable text, so we are blocked. If this is a curve, let me demonstrate that. Let's just expand that to curves and then unite all of those shapes that we end up with. And now if this is an editable curve, I can apply another stroke. All right, we can add a new color for this new stroke. Change the size. And I will end up having like multiple strokes on the same thing because let's move this one to be a bit larger. And as you can see, I got like one stroke and another stroke and coming on both sides. So that's one way of doing that. Unfortunately, I have to like, I have to turn this text into curves. So that's not what I want to do here. So let's undo a few times. All right, that's a still a curve. And now we are back to the editable text with just one stroke on it. In the past, people always do something like that. They simply try to group the text and then they apply additional effects to it again and again. So in this group, there's a text with this one stroke. So I go FX. And from effects, I can add additional outline. Unfortunately, in version one, you can add only one outline. That's why we used to group the text. All right, so that's effects for the text. And then I can head to the group and add the very same effect again to the group itself. And I can end up with one more outline. The good news is we don't need to use that method anymore because in version two, we can add multiple copies of the same effect. So let's get rid of that group. I'm going to move this out from the group. I will delete the group. So, so far I got one outline from the default here. Get rid of that. And now I got only one outline from the FX, from the effects. See that? That's my outline. Let's set this outline to be 10 points. And take a look. Next to this outline effect, there's a plus button. So I can add another one. And now I duplicate this effect. Keep in mind, the one above will cover the one below. It's almost like with layers. So I want to go to the below one. Then I can change the color of it. But we cannot really see it, right? because the size of this one below is 10 size of the one above is 10. So let's make the one below 20. Okay. So the one below is 20. So I can see half of it. I can see 10 points. If I make a copy again, the one below, I turn this to 30. I can make another color here. All right. And we can continue that as long as you want 40 and this way we can apply multiple strokes to editable text 
So that's a still editable text. I can change that. So let's try to edit that text. As you can see, we can edit the text, no problem. What if you set this up, you got four strokes and you want to transfer this to another text or another vector object. In that case, if I draw a star like that, I can use a very new style picker tool and pick this using this style picker for my star as a nice finishing touch for this composition. All right. So that's how you can apply multiple strokes in version two. I also show you how we did that in the past in version one. In case you are still waiting for your update to version two, you can use that old method as well. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to check the playlist. I think we already passed like 110 tutorials for Affinity Designer and we reach 60 tutorials for Affinity Photo as well. So a lot to learn in the playlist. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.